Let's go. And here we are back in Bleak Rock Village. Uh, so we ended up getting out of the jail. So if you watch my other videos, you'll see how to get through the jail area and get yourself out to actually start the game on this uh, on this what I call the Newbie Island. Because really, you can't really get off of it until a certain time or a certain quest is finished. Uh, one thing to remember is from here on in, anything you see or can loot, loot. Uh, you want to grab as much as you can. Uh, for example, if I press the inventory, you can see that uh, in the jail, I looted. For, I basically looted everything. Uh, you can find some armor. You can find a lot of ingredients that you're going to need later on. You can pick up a little bit of money. Uh, the ingredients are the biggest thing um, that'll help you start your crafting career and also it's good starting money um, with recipes when you find recipes you right click and you can hit use I uh, already learned that one um, so we'll go down through them all you just right click and use now these are special these are um, uh, racial uh, motifs uh, when you add them uh, it means when you're creating armor, uh, clothing, weapons, you can then make them in the style of the Dark Elf. So it's just another style of creating. Uh, basically, you start off with the default of Nord if you started as a Nord. In this example, I'm a Nord. Uh, so all my crafting stuff will be in the Nord style. But uh, if I was to right-click on this and learn it, uh, right-click and use, it'll then uh, let me allow me to use um, the Nord uh, the Dark Elf styles. Uh, it's kind of cool because then it, you can make stuff that looks different than everybody else if they don't have it. Uh, so it gives you a kind of standout uh, thing. Uh, so basically let's start it up. I'm almost full of my inventory so I will need to sell a few things. The recipes are the first things to, to go because once you learn them you don't really need them. Most people have found them. They're not really worth selling except they're pretty much a vendor vendor trash. Um, again, going into your skills, um, like I said, I put I put the first point into stamina uh, just because I want to run fast. I want to zip through a lot of these quests. Um, you can, of course, put it uh, whatever you want. Um, but, like I mentioned before, stamina at the beginning kind of helps because it uh, saves you a lot of time. It gives you about a 15% increase in your run speed, which isn't much, but it does help. As you'll notice, the zipping through will help. I'm going to commit that point. Also, you start off with one, with a skill point. Um, I, in this case, put a skill point into the familiar. Uh, reason being, uh, the familiar is a great running around uh, take aggro off of you item. Basically, I cast it, I can zip around, and I don't have to worry about... Um, basically, it'll peel the, the mobs off you, so if you wanted to just take off, you can. Um, I do it in this theory just to get around. Plus, when you start it off at the beginning, um, anything you start off at the beginning, you're, you will level it a little bit quicker than if you started once you leave the, the newbie island. So, this way I can get my uh, unstable familiar up in skill and I'm hoping to get the next the next pet up uh, so far I've seen three of the pets I believe there's four um, below 15 so that's what we'll work on the other thing is I'm going with two-handed I'm at three points I don't want to waste anything on cleave I will later on probably pick cleave um, but we'll explain that when we get there what I really want is the charge the charge uh, is uh, great because um, it it does a lot of a lot of damage and it's always a crit so it's uh, pretty good to have um, and then from there we are probably going to go with dark magic and we'll probably will go with crystal shard on our next point just because it's got a damage and a knockdown what I like to do is do a knockdown and then a charge combo uh, pretty much the monster is dead at that point if it's of your level or lower uh, if not, it's pretty much one swing after that, and he's pretty much toast. Um, that's it. So let's let's get this thing going. So I learned some of the recipes. Um, basically, the prophet's there waiting for us to talk to him. But like I said, we're going to look around the room. Here's a wardrobe. We're going to loot that. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'm, 
in my other videos. Um, if you go into the settings and then uh, gameplay, you want loot on. Um, but I want loot on because I just want to press E, it loots it, throws it in my inventory. If you want to see everything, turn it off. It'll open up a window and you just have to hit the button twice. I just do it to save some time. Um, as you can see, I like zipping through things rather quickly. Enjoy. And, of course, beta. Lots of fun. Sometimes things don't work. Okay, so let's talk to this guy and let's get going. Okay. Uh, so we'll return in one second, and we'll uh, go with the rest. We'll continue on in a second. Thanks for watching. 